GM Danielson. Don't Walk Alone in the Dark by Justice Scottish Girl. I live in a farming area, and there's a lot of fields and woodland, so it's not a hard place to find somewhere to walk my dogs off their leads. About two years ago, one evening, I had completely forgot to walk them, as it was about 8.30, and it was in October, half term, so it was already dark. But I wasn't too bothered, because I know the whole area really well. So I took my large female boxer dog, who was only a puppy at the time, but had an insane amount of muscle and was already full grown in height, as well as my chihuahua and Jack Russell mix out. I'm a five foot five girl with quite a bit of muscle on me, as I did a lot of physical sports including martial arts, so I could easily protect myself in a fight. Because of this, I thought I was safe so I began walking out of my estate and up a hill with my earphones playing some heavy metal music to get me in the zone for a quick walk on the back fields and then back home. When I reached the top of the hill, which led to another housing estate bordering the fields, I noticed there was no traffic at all, no movement. At this point, it was almost nine and there was nobody to be seen, which I thought was unusual because it was a well-populated area. Despite this, I carried on walking, with a little crossbreed biting at the lead with excitement and my boxer trying to attack my shadow. Once we reached the fields, it was almost pitch black and there was no lampposts, so the only lighting was from the houses that faced the field. I took my boxer off her lead and as boxers do, she bounded off into the tall grass like a child whereas my little mutt followed my heels, nipping my jeans to remind me he was still there. After five minutes or so, my eyes had adjusted to the lighting of the field, and I could see my boxer had stopped a meter ahead of me, staring at something. Instantly, my Jack Russell mix started growling and stood between my legs. I looked up to see a figure standing around three meters away from me, I shouted my boxer to come back to me, as usually she gets too friendly with strangers and jumps up on them. Reluctantly she turned back to me and began running to me. My eyes never leaving the figure, I call out and apologize for my dogs. I think I said something like, sorry she's only a pup, she thinks everyone wants to play. Nothing, just silence from the figure. I could see it had long hair and what looked like a long raincoat on. The shoulders were wide, however. I still thought it was a woman. Once again, I called out to her, Are you okay? Did she jump on you? Again, nothing. At this point, I could feel her eyes on me and my dogs. My littlest dog began barking and squealing, and my boxer began barking this horrifying bark I've never heard her produce. It sounded like she was trying to threaten the figure. Then I heard the woman begin laughing malevolently. That's when I lost it. I picked my little dog up and ran knowing full well my boxer would follow me. Like I said before, I do a lot of sports, so I'm fast, and I don't have too bad a stamina. Jumping over the gate with my dog in my arms and my boxer right at my heels, I glanced over my shoulder and saw the woman clear as day in full pursuit. I couldn't give you exact details, but all I can tell you is she looked like something straight out of a horror movie. She was grotesque in every sense of the word. My boxer was running just a little ahead of me. She knew I was running home, and this woman was really bad news. She could bolt, but for whatever reason she kept a speed that matched mine. Maybe it's the dog's loyal instinct of the pack or something. I don't know. 
Anyways, by the time I reached the end of the first estate, I slowed to look behind me. Big mistake. There she was still running, quite a distance behind me, but the woman was still coming. At this point, my head was complete mush, but I knew if I went down the route I came by the field, she would catch up to me. So I darted to the left at the end of the estate and ran across the road down the street, my boxer at my side. At this point, my mutt had gone silent and was digging his paws into my arm and chest. I ran like I've never run before. At the end of the street, I turned right, which brought me onto the street next to the opening of my estate. I didn't look behind me until I reached my driveway. I put my mutt down and ran with my boxer to the front door of my house. I looked behind me. She wasn't there, but I could hear her laughing. I ran to the door and opened it, slammed it behind me, then bolted it. I turned the porch light off and peered out the little side window by the door. She walked straight past the end of my driveway. <sighs> she hadn't seen me. I told my older sister about what happened. She told me it was best we didn't tell our dad, as he probably wouldn't let me walk them alone again. Ever since that night, I rarely forget to walk my dogs before it gets dark out. And when I do, I walk them first thing in the morning after. So, scary lady in the farmer's field, let's not meet again.